What's going on guys? Welcome to another segment of Soccerholics. To my right I have Ben, to my left I have Billy, and I'm Renee, one of the hosts. Now, what's up? How you doing? How's things? That, was that necessary? I was, I I'm just, really I was just acknowledging, I was saying hello. Am I to say hello? Oh, I, I didn't introduce you, that's fine. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a picture on the wall. That's fine. That's fine. Um, sorry I was late because I was uh, I was playing some FIFA, yeah. and I'm not gonna lie, I like Sedu Dumbia. Dumbia is the most <laughs> overrated player in the game. Good player. Good player. Great player, great yeah. player, but he is so overrated in that game. But he just goes right through everybody. Does he, now, does he look he exactly, I want to, because they, are they getting better? Which one, which, which one are you playing here? The 15? 15? Yeah. Are they looking more and more like the players? Because I've yeah. played FIFA before and they just look yeah, really the good. Really some of them are really good on the new one. Okay. Well, pretty close, isn't it? He is pretty good. Very cool. Uh, well, speaking of African players, um, let's talk about our topic today. We are going to be discussing whether an African country will ever win the World Cup. Now, that's a very sensitive topic, not because of our opinions, mm -hmm. but because we have an all-African production team. And uh, whether we get our facts right or wrong, <laughs> we might not make it out alive. <laughs> this could be our last day in the job. <laughs> Um, having said that, what do you guys think? Yes, no, maybe? It's going to be a very, very long time, I think. Very long time. What is that? I think it's just the whole structure around Africa. Uh, the way they grow up, playing football and stuff like that. Like, I wasn't the greatest player, but yeah, I've trained twice a week, playing on great pitches. FA approved coaches every week. Uh, structured games on Saturdays and Sundays. And I don't know if the kids in Africa are getting that sort of stuff as well. Uh, I don't think they are, so I think it's... It's got to change a lot. The whole set of the country's got to change. I think before they start getting something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Billy. I mean, it's uh, you know, it's again, it's resources, having the money uh, and the resources to buy equipment to teach players. You know, you're going to have those rare players like Yaya you know, Torre, Wolf of Bonnie. Those, you know, those one in a in a billion chance that will have that just that one chance, one opportunity to to do well and. Uh, come over to a country and develop their skills and represent the country where they're born. But in terms of, you know, winning the World Cup, no, I would find it really hard. And it's really based on, in my opinion, it's based on the ways the back for the back line, the, the defence. The defence is just not as good as other countries. They've got the strikers, but and the, all the other game, but it's the back, it's just the back four, I always feel, are oh, not as good. Oh, you think you look at the players, the African players, they're big, strong, quick players. But I just think, like, do you ever get you a great pass of the ball come from Africa? Well, I, I don't see oh, it. Like, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. Really good no. pass. Yeah, 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 Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. A big uh, player. Yes, okay. Yaya Torre. Yeah, big, strong player. Is he the best passer? Is he an Iniesta? Is he a Xavi? Is he that sort of fabric mess? I don't think he's that sort of player still. Okay, so you guys are saying that no, no, because, you know, I guess Africans have uh, an attacking mentality. Some, sorry, somebody's going... Quite on set, guys, quite on set. Something's happening. Right, right. and, and, you're, and you're discussing it because of the resources, because yeah, of the yeah. funds. Yeah, um, I think too many players go unnoticed. There's so much talent in Africa that would never get found. And I think that's the problem. Okay. I agree completely. Having said that, which country has the best chance of winning the World Cup? When that time is going to happen? I'm, 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 a, I'm, a fan, I'm a fan of the Ivory Coast. Hmm. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, Cote d'Ivoire, mainly because they've had a few of our <laughs> Arsenal players in the team. Oh, I love it. Arsenal fan. As, as Always has to talk about Arsenal. Um, Nigeria. Nigeria! 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 Abuja! Abuja. Uh, no, I mean, I, mean, I, I think Ivory Coast would have would have a great a great chance if they... Hopefully, hopefully they'll, be a, they'll have a new star in their team, you know, four, six, ten years from now. <coughs> Don't <laughs> Get him. If you're playing Ultimate Team on FIFA, get, get Dombia. Or Dombia. I'm not sure. Sorry if I mispronounced it. You need a golden generation of players. So, like, Ivory Coast had that with the Toro brothers, Drogba. Yeah. They had golden generation, and that's what another African country's got to do. But it's got to be. Well, Ivory Coast never lived up to their potential. No, no. But I agree. Going, but I do agree with what Billy said earlier. You know, they're not. They're not going to have a Messi, a Ronaldo. There's not a, 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 a marquee A star player. A drop become close, I think. Okay, drop well, yeah, yeah, but, it, but like, but it's it's done now. He's, you know, here's yeah. what I'm at Chelsea, and he came back. There's not, but there hasn't been one since him. This know? this is where I'm going to go and and agree to disagree with you guys. I agree that an African country will. I don't want to say never, but nowhere in the near future are they going to win a World Cup. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the players. Mm -hmm. 
has slightly a little bit to do with the resources and the facilities. It has everything to do with anything outside the pitch. Corruption, bribery, embezzlement, conditions in those countries. It has absolutely nothing to do with the players. I believe in 1994, you know, we have a Nigerian production team and I'm gonna rep you guys right now. You had <laughs> Amokachi, Amuniki, Taribu West, Noanko Kanu. Who are these people? Bro, those who guys. Are these people? Who are these people, who are these people, man? These people? Dude, you watch these guys Sounds play like these a rap guys. Group. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to drop the hottest mixtape. No. Exactly. Listen, these guys were by far one of the most talented players on the planet. 1994 in the US, they took over that World Cup. Okay? In, in, in 1998, you had Morocco with Haji. That guy yeah. destroyed Brazil. I'm gonna hit him. He did. He single handedly destroyed Brazil. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 2002, yeah. you had Senegal, the most exciting team in the world in that World Cup, destroying uh, destroying France. That comeback goal that started in the defense and all the way and they scored, whatever. What I'm trying to get at is you, the only countries in the world, in World Cups, mm -hmm. that have to wait to get paid to play are African countries. In yeah. 2014, yeah. Ghana. Togo, they were promised bonuses. Ghana had to fly in a three, a, 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 an airplane with $3 million in cash just so that they would make sure that Ghana would play the next game. And this is the, this is the messed up part. This is what a part of, uh, about corruption that I'm trying to get at, okay? FIFA has a non-intrusive clause. What does that mean? FIFA does not um, get in the way of soccer associations. No, sorry, that's wrong. FIFA will not have, no, what is that? Hold on. <laughs> Come I'm, on, trying, that? I'm trying to get it, okay? I'm trying to make a point. I'm trying to make a point. FIFA, <laughs> governments are not, here we go. Governments are not allowed to interfere with soccer federations of their respective countries. So if you have a corrupt soccer association, the government cannot do anything. You have the Kenyan Soccer Association, okay? There, it was proven, it was proven that these guys in the soccer association were embezzling money millions of dollars that were supposed to go from corporations that were sponsoring to players on the field and to facilities. Never made it. The, Ken the Kenyan government said, you know what, you guys, you guys are out of here. Mm. What did FIFA say? Done. No. <laughs> Kenya, you are banned. Banned out of FIFA until those people are reinstated into their positions. Until FIFA decides that their clause means nothing, these these countries are not gonna have a future. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. It has everything to it's do it. okay. with one well, of the big problems as well is these African players. They go, they picked up by European countries young, and then they never get the chance to play for their country. You don't play for a European country. You move to France when you're three years old. You come from Africa. Now you're French and you're done. Yeah. You're not gonna play for the African team anymore. And you're. Well, yeah. You're, you're gonna, gonna have you're gonna have citizenship. You're gonna, you're gonna have African citizenship players, and we're yeah. throwing your country away. And then when you got the choice of playing for well, Senegal course, or, that's or a, France, who are you gonna pick? You're that's gonna a personal, but I think that's done on a personal. It's also done on a personal note to say, you know, you know, I'm proud to be where I'm from, but if I've had a bad upbringing and I've now been picked by. Arsenal, I'm going to have a choice of having a British passport. Mm. I'll take a British passport and then and then play for England. Yeah, if you want to be. Senegal right? or, or but, England, also, but also from another level of, of striving to be with a chance of winning a, a World Cup. If you're, if you're born in Africa and you've got a chance to play for Spain or blah, 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 who are you going to choose? I'm going to choose Spain. Because I you'll agree. have a chance of, of winning something as you wouldn't with the other a team that you play for. And that's where, and it's not about money. That's where it comes down. It's about how much you want to win the game, how much you want to do well in your personal achievements. Speaking of foreign players, do you know in the 2014 World Cup who was the team that had the most foreign players? Like foreign-born players? No, not Germany. Germany had a lot. Germany had a lot. Foreign-born players. Okay. Foreign-born players. Algeria. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 17 out of the 23 players in the Algerian national team were born in France and they're playing for Algeria. So that, that theory that we're, that we're concocting right yeah. now can work Okay, okay, let's yeah. have a look at this. The players that are playing for Algeria are players that were not good enough to make France team. And they knew this, they're like... Oh, lower, oh, lower oh, are we saying that Algerians... No, that's true. They're lower <coughs> Zinedine players. Zinedine Zidane. <coughs> <coughs> Karim Benzema. <coughs> yeah, but they chose to play for France. They didn't choose to play for yeah. Algeria, them guys. They were better players, they chose to play for France. It's the lesser players that choose to play for Algeria. At the end of the day, there isn't going to be enough players of quality in an African starring 11 country to win the World Cup. I disagree. Now, the, uh, Ivory Coast had that, for sure. They had Premier League players in their time. Okay, that's, but that's the only exception. That's what we said, the best chance of winning it, Ivory Coast. Yeah, I think I'm, well, it depends on the next culture. I'm going to support my boys behind the camera, Nigeria. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, having said that, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, if you have, you know, if you agree, if you disagree, that's wonderful. Let us know. Uh, on behalf of Ben, Billy, Renee, thanks for watching Soccerholics. Well, uh, how was yeah. he been? Sorry? How was he been? Like? Yeah, Who? Ibra? Ibra, yeah. He's young, man. Yeah. 31, still, 32, yeah. Still has like three, like four years, yeah. yeah. That, uh, Can you believe Ronaldinho's 34? Ronaldinho. Yeah. Ronaldinho's 34 years old. He's got some rules. Oh, what I think, yeah. He's got somewhere else. Goofy team, Goofy team for Nigeria, right? Goofy team. Yeah. I think he's going to another club. Is he in the Brazil league? No, he's in Mexico. I think he's going to another club now. I think he's going to leave for another club. He's only been there for a few months. Mexico has a league. He's going to leave. I know. Yo, and it's crazy, man. Can't be called Cancun FC. I I went to um I went to Mexico City for like four or five days, watched yeah. the Cruz Azul game. Yeah. And it was Cruz Azul versus Nakaxa. And I'm pretty sure they're like diehard rivals. Yeah. Dude, it's, you don't fuck around there, man. I'm pretty sure, have you, you've been to like a... I've been, I've been to, I've seen a game like that. I've been to like you know, it's, it was scary, man. Like you had like, literally like a row of soldiers dividing them. Wow. Yeah, it was fucked. And like, I was there as a tourist and I saw that and I'm like, yo, Love you, please, but no. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I'm out. Did you go to the game? Did you go to the game? Or? Yeah, I ended up going yeah. to the game with my dad, and yeah, uh, like people Excellent. were fighting afterwards. Oh yeah, it's pretty fucked up. I've been to like uh, London derby, like Arsenal Spurs, and even there, you Jeez. don't feel you don't feel good there. Feel, feel safe. Too much feel safe. Right? No, I love it. No. I, my friend, I, I used to feel right. My friend just went to the last one. We got beat by Spurs two one, and he said uh, there was so much hatred. He just didn't feel safe there. He said when he left, like people hated each other. No, there was. It, it drew the line from banner, like banner with the teams, and like real. It's a, you know, it's some people. Like well, you have to realize that people, in especially in Brazil, for example, or a, 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 an example is Brazil. Brazil has so much poverty that the thing that these people look up to the most yeah. is their soccer team. There's like man, there was an, um, a documentary. This guy had like yeah. Corinthians tattooed on his back. Yeah. Like oh, full out, man. yeah, and this was you saw like the um, the beat down this Brazilian guy on on, on the bed on in the stands, right? No. Yeah, there was a uh, this was like a year ago, and you literally see ten guys. This guy's on the floor just this beating guy. the shit out of him after a game. Yeah, that's happened to a lot of you. Yeah. It's, it's bad. Stuff, like, man. Man. These guys have nothing to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have nothing to lose. No, no, no.